Hello again, this is Gabe Ginway from Ironclad Cairo, and today I'm going to be going over a new technique using silver metallic spray paint from Krylon to use with your props for sci-fi or steampunk. And in this tutorial today I'll be covering two types of uh, rubbings. Uh, one is more of a, a spray than a rubbing, uh, using water droplets from a spray bottle. And the second one is just simply taking a cloth and rubbing against your, uh, your prop that you want to create a tarnish metallic effect to. For the last tutorial that I did, I used Rub and Buff for this pistol and this water bottle. Rub and Buff, unlike spray paint, can be used indoors and safely inside, and also cleans easier. That's why I recommend it for beginners to work with that. Spray paint it can be a little more volatile, and working with silver spray paint, one thing I've noticed is that it creates silver flakes in the air once you spray it on water droplets or just uh, at a good distance, which can be hazardous to breathe in. So be sure you wear some sort of breathing mask to protect you from inhaling all the harmful odors or whatever comes out of it. So today what I got is uh, two water bottles once again and two more guns. The ones on the right, I would use the droplet technique with the spray, and the one on, on the left, I would use the rubbing technique. So I want to start off with the rubbing technique. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray this on the little paper plate, and uh, spray me just a little bit, not too much, of the spray. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a rag, Wrap it twice because I don't want to get anything else on my fingers. And just dab it in here. Create some silver. Dab some in. Take the gun and just start rubbing it along the seams. What I have noticed with working with the other one is that you're going to do a few springs to uh, get this done. Paint dries quickly, so you got to work quickly. It dries really quickly. Here I can see this is my third spraying of it, so kind of tedious. So you get the idea. And same do this with the bottle. Uh, this bottle right here is something I'm going to work on. Uh, actually. Uh, glue two bottles together using high temp glue gun. So, once again, you can use other metallics, I'm sure. Um, since the gun has already been primed with Prylon Fusion, I'm pretty sure other things can stick to it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these up so you can see them when I'm done. Okay, I'm finished rubbing the spray paint on the guns. Uh, the bottle down here, that's what it looks like. I did some regular silver on the ends. Like I said, this can be used for something else. And for the gun, here it is right here. It looks very similar to the rub and buff technique. So, and I did use a lot of spray paint on here. As you see, my plate's almost silver itself. So I'm going to 
those out. All right, the next step is I'm going to use a water bottle to kind of mist it on out. while I uh, spray paint it. The water technique kind of gives it a, a hammered look. Um, that's what I've come to best describe it. Um, also, it can go good with uh, a rusting technique as well. I imagine if you were to put uh, like a coat of like a hammered copper underneath this and uh, did a like a, the silver on top of there would look like rust or some sort of corrosion. So I'm going to try to do this technique. And to start off, let's see, I have to make sure my table is clear of everything because I'm actually be spraying directly on the table. So I'm going to make sure I move everything off. This is the part that you really need to have some sort of face protection because the little flakes just go everywhere. All right. And what you're going to do is just spray down the bottle. And spray down the gun too, so I'm going to hit that up. I haven't did this with a gun yet. I'm really curious to see how it'll turn out. Silver. I'm going to turn the camera off because, like, the, like I said, all those flicks get around. And I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. Alright, the first thing you notice, you're going to see a whole bunch of beading on there, or blisters, whatever you want to call it, after I hit it with the spray paint. So I'm going to grab this, just wipe them away. And what I'm doing is I'm wiping off all the water droplets on there. And that's what it looks like. And I do the same to the gun. So I'm going to move this back just a tad. I would think that this application would be really good if you're trying to simulate rust or some sort of other weathering technique. This gun, it really looks like it's been out for a while and if I had a, a black spray paint on it, uh, if I had a brown underneath, it'll actually look like kind of a rust to it. So there you have it. Hopefully this will be helpful for some of y'all out there trying to, uh, trying to try out some new techniques. And once again, this is Gabe Yenway of Ironclad Cairo, Slida, Louisiana, signing off.